Hello everyone, welcome to my session. I'm not a native speaker, so I made my speech as a video uh, to make it easy for me to play it. Now I will play the video. If you have any questions, uh, you can set, you can input the, the question in the channel and uh, I will stop the video and uh, explain it. Okay, let's begin. Okay, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my session. Today here, I will give some updates of inner thoughts in China. My name is Tan Zhong Yi. My English name is Jerry. So you can call me Jerry Tan. I have over 20 years experience with open source software and open source community. I'm a committer of Mozilla, GNOME, and Apache Software Foundation. I was a former open source lead of Baidu company. I'm an advocate of inner source in China. And I also the organizer of inner source China working group. Here's my agenda. First, I'll talk about what is inner source. Then I will introduce Inner source working group in China. Then I'll get some update from the members and uh, updates from our OST channel and updates from IS Summit. Last, I sum up and uh, questions. Okay. So first, what is inner source? Inner source is the use of open source software development best practices and the establishment of open source net control within organizations. The organizations may still develop prior proprietary software, but internally opens up its development. I got this definition from Wikipedia. It's a little complicated. To make it short, here's one. Inner source is a drop in the Apache way inside an organization. This definition is given by Dennis Cooper. She is the open source diva. She's also the creator of inner source commerce, a community focused on inner source. And I'll talk about it later. Here is the history of inner source. In the year 2000, Tim O'Reilly founded a company focused on providing open source consulting to some big companies. He called it gated open source or inner source. Then Dennis Cooper, when she was the head of open source in PayPal in 2015, she promoting inner source again. To make it easy to search, he called this term, this term inner source. And she also created a community called inner source commerce. So what is inner source commerce? Inner source commerce is a community with a goal of creating and knowledge about inner source. It was founded in 2015 by Dana Cooper. She announced it in Oscar. It has a summit twice a year, and it also provides some books and videos. This is the logo of this co community. And their, this is their books published uh, available to inner source guys. This one is getting started with inner source, adopting inner source, and understanding the inner source checklist. They are all uh, sponsored by PayPal, published by already. Okay, I'll talk about the inner source updates in China. 
Inner Source China Working Group has been set up, and uh, I will give some updates of several companies who adopted already, including Huawei, Tencent, Baidu, and DD. Inner Source China Working Group. I'm the organizer. The ten plus members there. They are from Huawei, Tencent, Baidu, Inspur, Suling, DD, WeBank, Haikang, and Genshi Xue. They are all managers or the architectures who we adopt the inner thought in their company. We have a regular online or offline communications to, to discuss how to practice inner source and their experience. Then I'll talk about some companies' practices. First is Huawei. Huawei is the most famous uh, high-tech company in China. It has over 90,000 engineers. In the year 2014, it began inner source top down. The original is too simple because there are many pro products and projects intertwined with each other. So when there's some problems or bugs happens, it's much harder for them to debug. So they think that if the code is open internally, the engineers can read the code and can identify very quickly. So they want to make debug easier. That's their original reasons. Till now, 90% of projects go to inner source. They have valuable practices, total top down. And uh, they have a very strict code security process to make it happy. Now, I'll talk about uh, Tencent. Tencent is one of the biggest internet companies in China and also in the world. It's the largest social media and social network company in China. It has more than 20,000 engineers. In the year 2012, it began to adopt inner source bottom up. Original, because they want to promote engineering culture inside the company. Because for engineers, talking is cheap, showing the code. So they think that if engineers open source their code inside the company, it will be very easy to identify uh, the high talented people and it will promote engineering culture. Tier 2018, there's 34% of projects got inner sourced. This is the first stage before September 20 and uh, 2018. After that, a big change. They promote inner source top down because they found that inner source can benefit their company greatly. But if you only promote all inner source bottom up, they cannot uh, have great project and great products. So they promoted it top down. The reason is to limit the duplicate wheels inside the company. Till 2020, 80% of the project got inner sourced. They put very strong resources on this project. Okay, I'll talk about Baidu inner source journey. I was the head of Baidu Inner Open Source, so I know it exactly. 
By the way, it's the largest search engine in China. It has more than 10,000 engineers. From 2016, it adopts InnerSource to improve their internal platforms. Here are the steps. In the first, they choose the first pilot project. Then we open up, extend it to the whole department, the first department. Then provide it, then we extend it to the company wide. Here is the details. The first project is ODP. ODP is a PHP framework used widely inside Baidu. In the 2016, we began to adopt inner source. The original is very simple because the engineer resources is too limited, cannot handle too many feature requests. At that time, ODP is based is using PHP 5, but PHP 7 has got released and become stable. They want to migrate this platform from PHP 5 to PHP 7, but there are many, many plugins that work on the PHP 5. But this project has only two people, two engineers working on this. They cannot uh, migrate these plugins from PHP 5 to PHP 7. So how to do this? They inner source it. They call contributors from the company and uh, intensive the contributor to test, to code, to debug, and to contribute patches. InnerSource, after one year, more than 200 engineers joined this project. They discuss, they, pro, they test, they provide patches, and re review the patches, and got it in, and release the package. We got more than 200 patches into the project, and uh, makes it migrate to PHP 7. Where very uh, flows very perfectly. Then we move to the first department. Inf. Inf responsible for Baidu's infrastructure service, including storage and computing. It has more uh, about 200 engineers. We got support from director, managers, and developer leaders. The original is very simple, the same. First, they have limited engineering resources. They cannot handle too many feature requests. So they want their customers to provide the patch request instead of feature request. And they want, also want to build stronger connections with the inside customers. Because if their customers can work together, collaborate with each together, provide a patch to them, then there will, their relationship will be much stronger. Then we extended our inner source journey to open wide. Our COO promoted the inner source several times to break down silos. Our CTO requests all platforms that serve for company wide should be inner sourced. And our open source program office and the leader of this requests that all projects need to be inner source first before open source to external community. Here's the whole journey of Baidu inner source. Okay, 
we are move we are move to DD's inner source practices. DD is China's Uber. It began adopting inner source from 2019 last year. The reason is to improve collaboration and code reuse inside the company. It is top down and strong operations. The atmosphere inside the DD are good. Leaders are happy. Engineers are happy because atmosphere was very great. And they still need a brand new project to approve the real value of inner source. Okay, I'll talk about some companies, the community of a China local community, OS China. OS China promoted inner source also. It's the biggest open source community in China. We, if we can think that it's GitHub or China. They stop special pages for inner source. They introduced inner source to Chinese uh, engineers. Here's their website. There will be a page like this. This is the logo of inner source commerce. And uh, the, it collects many documentations and uh, translate it into Chinese, simple Chinese version and uh, present it to Chinese engineers, including the definition of inner source, the best practice of inner source, and why, and how, and uh, how to prove how to approve the value. So sum up, inner source in China compared with open source in China, inner source is still at the early adopter stage is here. Then I'll talk about the IS Summit Winter 2020. IC Commerce have two summits every year, but this time it have a special event called IC Summer Winter event. It will be hosted by Tencent Company. It will be organized on 3rd and 4th December this year. Call for proposal CFP will be open soon. Stay tuned. Okay, any questions? Hello, any questions? Thank you, Paulo. Thanks, Jennifer.
Thanks, Sharon. It, lo it looks like uh, we can play the video very clearly, right? So uh, we can think about uh, for pre record uh, video for uh, non native speaker, it will help us. Great. So if there's no more questions, can we close the session now? Okay, thank you.